Hi Aries, welcome back to my channel. Uh, this will be a themed reading, What Do They Regret? And it will be a three question, uh, sorry, a three card spread um, around the question of what do they regret. Now, this could be someone that's an ex, this could be someone you were once connected to, almost connected to, almost had a relationship. You may or may not still be in contact with this person, Aries. Um, but it may give you ins uh, some insight into if they regret anything about the ending of your relationship, of your connection, um, the way they carried themselves, what they thought, etc. So hopefully there is something here that's going to be a little bit more revealing for you um, about this person and um, what they potentially regret about you and your connection. So um, if you enjoy this content, uh, Aries, please feel free to leave behind a like, share or subscribe. Um, otherwise, let's have a look and see what comes up. Uh, Aries, <clears throat> uh, what do they regret? Okay, Ace of Swords, Five of Swords, and Eight of Wands. Uh, let's kick off the reading with the Ace of Swords. Ace of Swords is a very, very powerful energy. Um, it can symbolize regret in the sense of having courage or not having enough courage or bravery. Now, the sword can indicate um, a battle. It can indicate a fight or a struggle in internally or even a struggle with communication, he Aries. So my guess is that this person, if they're regretting and it's coming up as the ace of swords my guess is that they could be regretting having some sort of fight or argument or struggling through something um, now you might have struggled in different areas okay in your relationship maybe with in-laws uh, maybe with common interests maybe with finding the time to be there for each other maybe struggling to communicate or find the time to connect um, there could be some sort of regret or remorse from this person towards that okay um so it's either them having the uh, regretting having the courage to say something or not say something or lacking the courage, I should say. Uh, it can also be because aces rule major chapters. It can be that there was an opportunity for you to pursue or forgo, um, continue this relationship and this person didn't take that ace. You can see the sword, in, uh, the sword in the snow here and it's almost ready. The hilt facing upwards, the handle here for someone to grab. Um, you might have given them an opportunity to uh, speak, redeem themselves, uh, show their true colors, but they didn't take that opportunity. Uh, so they may be feeling something of a missed opportunity, or they might see you, your connection, your marriage, uh, whatever it is that you shared, Aries, they may see that as a missed opportunity. But it's some, it could be internal, internal communication or external communication between the both of you that they're really regretting, okay? The Five of Swords is here. Now you can see these th these three people, and 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 it looks like a very uncertain dynamic. Okay, it looks like they're a little bit lost. They're trying to pick up the pieces. They're trying to look back. One looks like he's trying to walk away. They look very very distracted and disoriented and very scattered. Um, the th the fact that the three are involved here, I don't know if this is an external person, like an ex, uh, maybe a friend of someone that got in the way of the relationship, but they could be regretting um, inviting that friend or um, replying back to that ex. It could be a third person dynamic here, Aries, and for some of you, this person is living with regret um, about that external source to the relationship, that external factor, okay? Um it could be that because I say there's three people pictured in the cards here. Um, but it's a very disoriented or scattered. They don't really know what they want. They're very confused in this card. So what makes me think... Um, I mean, it makes me think that there was some sort of confusion or scattered energy. Their mind wasn't in the right place here, Aries. So they may be... I don't know if they communicated this to you. I don't know if they communicated that confusion or felt it on an internal basis, on a subconscious basis, and didn't express it to you consciously. But there was something about confusion or disorientation, or it could even be that they went back and forth on their word. This could even be mixed behavior, mixed messages, mixed energy, mixed vibes, mixed messages. This sort of energy, I feel like they might be regretting. If they have shown you that sort of side to them, it could very well be that they're regretting having shown you that sort of confusion. 
Maybe now that you've gone, they finally got clarity. They've had time to recollect and regroup. But there is some sort of confusion or scattered energy that they're regretting. Um, it's also something that might have been inconclusive. I mean, this figure looks like he wants to walk away and that one wouldn't even notice. So it's it's failure to address something when they had the opportunity. I think this is coming back up again. They had the opportunity to speak or say something or maybe to slow down or pick things up. Uh, they had that opportunity, but they didn't take it. Um, it could also be avoidance. They regret being avoidant, uh, avoidant in the relationship, avoidant of feelings avoiding certain, certain topics, uh, certain things that could move you forward, something about avoidance uh, or not noticing. This is very scattered energy. So it could be that they're regretting their attention wasn't on you, okay, wasn't on your wants, needs, and, and it wasn't on the best interest of the connection or the relationship or the marriage. And as a result, that's when we start to see that, that faction, that fracture, which is clearly evident in the Five of Swords. Um, and I don't know if this is necessarily an air sign he Aries, or it's someone who is mentally very confused or regrets being scattered or confused and not having um, considered you or, or spoken to you about that confusion or that, that lost or scattered energy they might have felt. Now, the Eight of Wands is also here. Now, this could be fire energy in Aries, Sagittarius, Leo. Uh, Eight of Wands is seen, I mean, in this particular deck, there's a very beautiful imagery Imagery here. We can see what looks like the branches or the vines um, with flowers immersed. It's very picturesque. It's very beautiful, um, but it's very steadfast. It indicates strength. They're all in alignment. They're all quite strong. Um, they're near the bank of the river here. Um, so it's, thing, and you know, they're not intertwined. They're not messed up. They seem to be straight, uh, growing in a very straightforward nature. And um, it could be something about steps or they regret because this is scattered and this is neatly aligned. I don't know if it's zigging and zagging like in one way. Um, they had the opportunity to do things in order with you, OK, to go by um, step by step. It's all about steps, but it's things happening on a very smooth running consecutive basis here. They might be regretting not taking those steps on a consecutive basis, maybe jumping into things um, or having that scattered energy. OK, there's regret for that. Um, I don't know if they were necessarily ready. They may they may be regretting that they were not ready to be with you. Um, or they were not ready to be in whatever sort of relationship or connection you were wanting of them, uh, they might not have been ready to offer you that. They might have regret not um, taking action, okay? Eight of Wands is a card of all about taking action. Um, it's, it's a fired up energy. It's a motivated energy. And, you know, it's seen as signs, symbols, synchronicities. It could also be seen as the arrows of love, the branches of love in this particular case. Uh... It could be that someone regrets not being intimate enough with you or taking as much physical action, you know, not showing you in their behavior that they could change or they could grow or they could prove to be the person that you're wanting. Um, and I feel like it's they regret not acting fast enough, not acting soon enough or not even <laughs> acting at all. There could be some major, major regret happening here, Aries, because this person didn't take the action, something about steps. Okay, maybe you ask them to go um, steps to a rehabilitation program. Maybe you ask them to take things slower. Maybe you ask them to do things one at a time. Uh, you know, there's something that you might have said to them and they might regret not taking action, not taking those steps uh, or, or something like that. It's a lack of action that could really, really be affecting them mentally, emotionally, physically. Uh, but it's the lack of physical action here, uh, regardless of this person's sign. It can definitely be that lack of action and intimacy even as well. Maybe they regret not showing you how they feel. They might have told you, uh, but it's through their behavior and the physical action, which the ones can represent. So they regret not showing you how they feel, okay? And not take When they had the opportunity to show you how they feel through actions and behavior, they failed to do that. They failed to grasp the opportunity or take the opportunity, okay? Um, so it could be that, okay? I will leave your reading at that though, Aries. So thank you once again for tuning in. 
don't forget to leave behind a like or a subscribe um, or a share if you have enjoyed this content. Otherwise, I'm sure we'll be catching up very, very soon. So take care and um, until next time, bye for now.